that leaders, one of the great qualities, and really what distinguishes leaders from managers, right? I think it's Stephen Covey that says, managers are about putting the ladder to the wall, um, but leaders are the ones to figure out which wall to lean it on, or something along those lines. It includes the concept of a vision, understanding where I'm going. And I think that vision starts with us as individuals. So if you think about it, and you say to yourself, well, what kind of position do I want to occupy? And what kind of individuals do I want to work with? What type of culture do I want to be in? And what kind of skills do I feel that I need in order to make sure that when I get into that position, I could really thrive? You know, Stephen Covey talks about the idea of beginning with the end in mind. And he has this imagery. You might have read the book, The Seven Habits. It's one of the greatest books I've ever read, certainly on leadership and on, and on living a fulfilled life and getting along effectively with others. And he talks about, it's a somewhat of a somber metaphor, but he talks about a person at their, um, uh, at the eulogy, at their, at their uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, at, um, I don't know why it's not coming to mind. They've died. And, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. I, I, it must be jet lag or something. Funeral, thank you very much, at their funeral. <laughs> Well, I guess the concept is so foreign to me, I really hope I never get there. <laughs> wow, okay. So you're at your funeral and everybody's gathered around and they're starting to speak. But what do you want them to say about you? And that idea, I know that that's, again, it's a somber context, but it's a very powerful context. And it really, it, what it does is it sort of distills at the end of the day all the pettiness of life. And it puts it for what it is. What do you want on, on your gravestone? What do you want people to be able to say at the end of your life, these were his or her accomplishments. These were his or her talents. These were his or her characteristics and qualities. This is what may, allowed him or her to make a difference in my life and in the life of so many others. So when we begin our leadership journey, don't think about funerals, but do think about, <laughs> but do think about where you will be at the end. Think about your final graduation ceremony. Think about your retirement party. Think about the opportunity when everybody in your business, when everybody in your organization, where everybody in your life is gathering around to celebrate your career. What do you want them to say about you as a person and as a leader? And what kind of people do you want to be surrounded by? And what type of organization should they represent? And the more that you can develop that vision, the closer you will be, I think, to getting to what's really meaningful to you. Because sometimes when you go out there, you're so eager to land that first opportunity, it may not necessarily be aligned with those values. And then you have to make a decision. It doesn't mean it's necessarily the wrong opportunity for you, but you have to think about it and decide, does this position me really for the next step that I want to have for myself? And to the degree that I need to grow, to the degree that I need to become a better person, a better leader, a better problem solver, what can I already do today that's gonna to put me on the path to getting there? And of course, there's no, there's no replacement for experience. A lot of that just comes with being on the job. But the more that you can do, and I would encourage you to read biographies. I would encourage you to go online. Find stories of people, the rags to riches, the individuals who probably held positions very similar to what everybody in this room in one form or another hold or held previously. Positions that don't seem to necessarily speak to the great leadership out there. But at the same time, there are so many individuals, we'll mention a couple of them a little bit later, that followed that exact path and are great leaders today. Brian Tracy, one of the, uh, also a great leader, talks about all successful people, men and women, are big dreamers. They imagine what their future can be, ideal in every respect. And then they work every day towards that distant vision, that goal, or that purpose. So that's what having a vision and being vision-oriented is all about. 